both in our early 20s, after hearing him play and sing at a friend's house, I knew I had to get to know this fascinating guy. He was interested in the same kind of music I was playing and listening to. He was married to Mary. Linda was a toddler. I wouldn't say a play. And uh, they were living in the coach house on his parents' property a mile away from my family home. Many evenings I'd ride my bike with guitar in hand over to his place to make music. The two of us formed a group called the River Boys. We recorded an album book, but never did take our show out on the road. Our growing families continued to play and sing together as part of the Duke crowd for many years. Merrick would always come to one of those evenings with a new song for us to learn, and once the song was Bill Stein's um, All God's Critters. Yeah, right. Merrick was larger than life, an immediate presence wherever he went. He always played this 1946 Martin guitar that I've always admired. And as I say, thanks to his daughter, Kate, for letting me play it tonight. Here's a song that gives an idea of just how beautiful this instrument can sound. that Mark Merrick and I did together. We did one that has a wail in it, a kind of a high-pitched wail. And Merrick's voice was higher, I guess, than mine, and he did the wail much better than I could uh, handle it. So it some, went some, something like that. So the wail was like this. Whee!
Here's a little bit of the Arkansas Traveler. I want to say that I think is very important. I want to encourage you who sing and play instruments to take your music to hospitals and nursing homes in your area. You'll hear patients and residents say things like, you made my day, you made my week. One man told me once, yeah, that tune took my pain away. Like me, you'll probably always feel you are right in the right place at the right time when you're doing music in a hospital site, a setting. The staff will love you as well as uh, other people, as well as the patients, and the staff will often say, come to some room such and such. Somebody would really love what you're doing. So please spread your musical joy. And uh, also, thanks to Jack for inviting me here tonight and to Kate for the chance to play this great guitar. And here's a song, I'm gonna finish up with a song called Detour, which is one that we used to do in the old uh, song, Song circles in Toronto with Merrick and uh, many other uh, great folks. So here's a, a little chorus of Detour. Detour, there's a muddy road ahead, Detour. Ain't no mind of what it said, Detour. All those bitter things I find, you should have read that Detour sign. <laughs> <clears throat> A very brief little song, little bluegrass song, may be familiar to you. It's been ten long years since I left my home in the hollow where I was born, where the wood smoke rises on the cool fall nights and the fox hunter blows his horn. I fell in love with a girl from the town. I thought she would be true. We ran away to Charlottesville to work in the sawmill too. What have they done to the old home place? Why did they tear it down? And why did I leave the plow in the field, look for a job in the town? Well, the girl ran off with somebody else. The taverns, they took all my pay And now I stand where the old home stood Before they took it away And the geese fly south, the wind blows cold I hang here, hang my head I've lost my girl, I've lost my home Now I wish I were dead What have they done to the old home place? Why did they tear it down? Why did I leave the plow in the field? Look for a job in the town. Why did I leave the plow in the field? Look for a job in the town. Thank you.